G'day guys, it's Billy here. Well, this is a very, very special tree, guys. Before I do this, look at this little... Looks like a maggot or something. A maggot. I'm going to feed that to my bobtail lizard. Looks like a little maggot, guys. I've seen them before. Um, but anyway, guys, so this is a very, very special tree. A calistamon and a beautiful sandalwood tree. Well, I've planted in there. I'll just get rid of those tea leaf things, so it's a very, very special reason, guys. Uh, one day you'll find out, hopefully. Uh, but anyway, guys, it's uh, just a, a clisterman or a red bottle brush tree, and it's a very symbolic meaning for me. And I've got a beautiful Noongar Aboriginal stone here, what I found out the old Dumbuyong rubbish dump. So this stone here, guys, is a volcanic pumice pumice stone made out of uh, volcanic pumice and that stone would have uh, floated for thousands of kilometres probably from Antarctica and landed on the shores of southern Western Australia I'd say probably near the Albany region or any other coastal region south of Dumbuyong and it's been traded with Aboriginal people for you know many many hundreds of years and uh, I've just got this beautiful little rock what fits in perfectly. I also found out the rubbish dump, so it's possibly also connected to this pumice grinding stone. Unsure what it would have been used for. Um, possibly, uh, yeah, uh, for ceremonial purposes, uh, making ochre, face paint and that kind of stuff. I'm unsure, guys. And also, it just means a lot to me, this beautiful little spot here. This is the remains of my dog Georgie's fur. Georgie died about probably, I don't know, six or seven years ago. And uh, eventually it's just going to be covered in beautiful little rocks that I've got here. I'll tell you the story one day when I do it, guys, and just a little, some rocks in a willy wagtail nest. Oh, sorry, not, it's not a willy wagtail nest. It's a uh, different species of bird, I'm unsure. Probably a, uh, a pink high nest or something like that. And I've also got a little sandalwood tree in here. It's a... Uh, just for hopefully it'll survive. I've got it protected from my magpie nipper. It doesn't pull it out. And uh, yeah, it's just a very special uh, for a purpose, guys. And this is a beautiful nulla nulla. It was made by my mate Nunji. Um, I've done videos on Nunji before. And uh, a beautiful old boomerang. What I found out the old rubbish dump someone threw out. So Noongar boomerang, guys, probably well over 100 years old. And this is a, a fighting weapon um, called a nulla nulla. There's probably another term for it for the Nungars, I'm not too sure. And these awful things here, guys, are called the Portuguese millipede. Absolutely horrible, guys, for invasive species. I've, they've only just started appearing my, in my yard in the last probably three or four years. The chooks love them, but they're so, they just climb up walls, get inside your house. They don't bite or nothing, they're harmless, but it's just really frustrating when you see them. Speaking to my mate Dale uh, Lloyd from Dumyang, he said it's got something to do with the uh, canola. They were introduced in the canola seed or something like that. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, so just a very, very special tree and hopefully it will survive. And uh, especially the sandalwood tree guys, it'll be nice if that survives. So sandalwood tree needs a host. Uh, tree to grow with. Unsure if it'll work well with this calistamon, but it, uh, they both grew in the same pot together, so it should be okay. If not, it's not the end of the world, guys, as long as one of them survives. And uh, we'll go and show you what a calistamon looks like. A beautiful red bottle brush. They're not, not in flower at the moment, but we'll show you. And uh, so, right here, guys, this is going to create shade for my house. The backyard and I've got a beautiful big Port Jackson fig tree here. It also keeps my house nice and cool during summer. So we'll go and show you what a clisterman looks like guys and then we'll finish the video. I can hear a frog. Oh look at this guys, this is a motorbike frog. Beautiful motorbike frog guys. I can actually hear a western toadlet. I've got the sprinkler on. So usually the motorbike frogs should be going into hibernation by now. Very, very shortly because it just gets too cold for them. 
So it Beautiful motorbike prog guys. So I've really got five to six different species of frogs in my yard. Winter and summer frogs. We'll show you what a clisman looks like guys. I'm just about to do a video on my little baby bobtail. I've had to move him inside this aquarium again because he escaped and I don't want him to fall in a pond and drown. There's like a lot of ponds everywhere guys and if he falls into one, a baby one, you, you'd be struggling to get out. He'll definitely drown or die of hypothermia. So I've got all my other bobtails in here, my baby ones. Just about to do a video on that at the moment. Here's a little beautiful bobtail here, guys. It's a beautiful one here, this one. Be a male bobtail. Beautiful colour, this one is. That's what I love to see, guys, all the beautiful ants in my yard. And this is the Calisman right here, guys. I've got probably three of them in my yard. They look absolutely beautiful when they flower, like a bottle brush, like when you wash bottles, but they're a red uh, bottle brush colored flower. And this one's probably about 15 years old. Oh, probably about 12, 12 or 13 years old. I used to have the Dumba Young Post Office and News Agency guys and I lost it. We had a beautiful little nursery and I used to sell all these beautiful native uh, trees and uh, whatever was when I lost the post office I just grabbed them all and planted them in my yard and they, that was probably about 12 years ago and that's another Clisterman here. But anyway guys while we're doing this video I almost well lift up this sheet of tin and I was going to do a separate video, but I might as well just do a... See if there's any baby bobtails under here. It's definitely probably going to be a bobtail, but there might be some babies. I haven't lifted up this tin for about probably six months, guys. Yep, there's one there. Oh, nice. Look at this, guys. This is what I'd love to see. That, guys, this is what I love to see. All the beautiful ants. You wouldn't see this in too many people's yards, guys, because unfortunately, a lot of people poison their ants. A lot of people poison their ants. My dad used to do it in this backyard himself. Anyway, guys, there's a bobtail there. We'll close the back up. You'll be all right. And that's the Port Jackson fig tree, what keeps my house nice and cool during summer. I didn't need to use air conditioning this year for the first time ever, guys. And that's my friendly neighbour's dog. Look at that, oh, look at that, guys. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bobtails under there, guys. They've all bred in my yard. Um, did you hear that? Dog, every time I come see you guys, it tries to attack me. 
I do try and be friendly to it at one stage. Um, fed it, but still kept on attacking me, guys. Anyway. Whoa! All right, thanks for watching everyone. I just thought I'd make a quick video on the uh, the bobtails, my little baby bobtail I've just removed. And uh, there's two more frogs here. Two more motorbike frogs. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a nice day. We'll chat soon. See ya.